Okay, this is Vepidra, and we are back in Alaloth. Let's go to the world map here. What were we doing? We tried Rot uh, Rotfinger. That was tough, wasn't it, though? What do we got going on here? Not that. Journal. Forest trolls. Corrupted forest of Baystone from the horrid forest troll outbreak. Where's Baystone? Stone down here. So where are these forest trolls? What are these things? The diamonds. Baystone. Corrupted forest of Baystone. That's Baystone. Is that Briar not? That just down here? Let's head over there. A town without walls, protected only by the waves of the sea. A seafaring rural place that is no stranger to the criminals within, who stain its reputation day and night. Mercantile runs deep within the streets, and House Seldak rules with an iron fist over every trade route they could find along the bay. Though far from their heyday and their isles, the house stands proudly among the others as equals. Okay. This tempest rages like the very wrath of the seas themselves, yet we sail on, defiant as the tides. Aye, my lord, the storm rider has earned her name today. Aye, she has. Just as we have earned our reputation as sea's faithful guardians, the storm may batter us, but it will never break our resolve to navigate these waves. And you say, Lord Everard, your cousin is caught in the same turmoil with his fleet, my lord. The winds care little for nobili nobility or rivalry. The seas, the sea unites sailors under her unforgiving balance and grace. The storm grows wilder, my lord. Shall we turn back? Nay, we remain on course. 
will weather the storm and emerge as steady as the walls surrounding Base Storm. Wait, I thought there were no walls around Base Storm. My conviction is unwavering as the northern winds, my lord. With you at the helm, my lord, we'll sail through any storm united by the seas that bind us. How Saldak's might is unassailable, be it in the face of rival fleets or the fury of nature. As our ancestors did, we overcome, for we are the lords of the sea and legacy. Okay. The forest troll. So where are these darn forest trolls? This is a city. Those are spiders. Goblins. Where are the trolls at Baystone? And where are the woods of Baystone? Corrupted forest of Baystone from the Hard Forest Troll outbreak. Wolf's cage, that's only got one skull too. But it's got horns on it. How come those don't those skulls don't have horns? Does that mean this skull is harder than the other skulls or what? I don't understand how to find my quest areas. And why are those things flashing on the left side? How do I select them? Let's keep looking at our quest until we find one we can get to. Dragon Hold. Where's Dragon Hold? Did I see that?
Logan Hall here. Let's head up here. Take out these rat cans and then see if we can take over Bryce then look out. It's only two skulls. We might be able to manage that. Oh here's Soul's Cage. That's only got the one horn skull. Let's try the one horn skull. There is a spot on the map that is perfect place for rest and recuperation while remaining hidden away from unwanted attention. The location could be difficult to access and not well known, making it ideal for anyone to remain undisturbed. So there's probably weird enemies there, right? So where was that? Oh, Souls Cage is up there, so we'll have to head up that way. But we're going to try to check this out here. How do I get out of the map again? Let's stay on this side. Don't have much of a choice, I guess. Let's... Nothing here. Okay, these things are so I can't even click on them. So there's nothing here, but okay, that's fine. How often we die here. In the cold, dead cliff of Judgment Falls, where the most misfortune souls lay dead at the bottom, thrown off for their crimes against the kingdom of Everest, there is a lonely cave where no life can enter. A monster of a bygone era finds new life within the screening of souls, a razor of dead, back from the pits of hell. The necromancer, Karyasha. Those that wandered inside never returned, and stories of dead men walking grow increasingly common in the Judgment Falls. Okay. Okay. There's an air of death surrounding this place, and I sense that its secrets are beyond my current understanding. I must return when the time is right and destroy, and destiny reveals its path. Okay, so I'm not strong enough to enter. So the horn skulls are really hard, I'm guessing. Okay. So we need to find... Some other weak areas to take over so that we can get stronger. That's a two skull. There was a two skull down here too, right? <laughs> yeah. Princeton Lookout. 
We've already got the Raven's hideout. Ooh, Lurk's Lament. Lament. That's the one. Oh, that's another horn skull, though. There aren't horn skulls. Crap. This is huge. Ooh, look at the infernal pits. What is that? Got it. It's like a four prong skull thing. Black card is two skull. But they're red, so I'm guessing they're really hard for me. Never would. So go up that way? Where are we? Over here, right? Over here. Well, looks like we're gonna head west. Alone stands the Neverwoods, a solitary tree in a sea of sand, abandoned by the forest that once surrounded the area. The dreaded wave of misfortune that came from the Valley of Storms, as Baga tried to cross it to face Al Anloth, destroyed the nature that was here, and now nevermore. Only one tree remains, to be guarded at all cost, for if it dies, all hope is lost. Ooh. Well, wait a second here. We should probably go buy some potions, shouldn't we? Consumables, do I have? I have a couple lesser healings. I have a hundred health. The other one in there. Can I cook something here? Craft potions. Lesser healing. Oh, I need two Sinferinia. Sinferin okay, well, we've got a couple, so let's go and see what we see how fast we die. snake with him too. Ow! Okay. 
Okay, I can go nuts on the snakes. this? What did I pick up? Metal scraps. Okay, metal scraps. I can't pick them up a second time. Ooh, big snake. Not sure I'm liking this. Oh, and another magic guy. Can I aggro the snake without the magic guy? I don't think so. Wow, he one hits me? Doesn't let me dodge. Miss me. Out, oh, come on, run. Near the potion. do this. First we need to go buy potions. Volumes are not broken. The gold ring. Okay, that's fine. At least I think it's fine. That's a ring of frost resistance. have any other rings okay so where do I come out here now this is different isn't it oh is this a city an orcish city With the help of roads and position, Naka's Cannon became a large multicultural society. With Westwall as its main supplier, all goods from the Four Kingdoms passed through this town. The local clan, the Karanard, praised victory and dominance above all else, even more than Orcish traditions. Militarily and covertly, this clan protects the town with both ruthlessness and might. Oh, look at that, right inside the town. Shop smart. Shop at my place. An antidote recipe, an elixir of might recipe, huh? Need how much gold do I have? Where's my at the bottom? Six thousand, okay. So let's buy that recipe, because I could probably use that sooner or later. Strength potion. Healing. How many does he have? Just the one? 
Oh, I can buy multiples. Let's buy ten. I got the gold. Plus 30 stamina regeneration speed. 30 effect time. So I needed two of these and one of what to make the, the, the health potions? And these are only 25 each. So let's buy 10 of these. Well, 9 of these because I already have one. And I can't remember what else I needed for it. Is there a way to check my spells? My cooking alchemy. Come on, I don't want this. And empty bottles, I already got the empty bottles. So really, how much were the empty bottles? Does he, he sell empty bottles too? Or magic armor, magic armor. Okay, I want empty bottles, large empty bottles, empty bottles. Really? So for 60 gold, I can make my own potions instead of spending. Oh my crap, 150. There's a small empty bottles. Okay, let's buy 10 more of these and buy 10 more or 20 more. Cinefera. have on it. Desert farmer named Grodugs looks for support to save from a disgusting desert desert night shakes recruits. Rid the desolation of the pest that plagues our land and re be rewarded for your service. So what am I doing? I don't understand that. Speaks the champion to save from a fearful skeleton outbreak. Evil will sneak upon the fortunate souls who are not, so I have to fight skeletons. That's, see, that one's, what is this? Night shakes recruit an essence. I don't know what that is. Hunts up some help to recover from terrifying exile scourge. Evil, will, okay, I don't know what that is either. We're not taking any of those. Let's go back and see if we can get any farther in that other place. We've got heals now. Wait, first of all, let's set our heals. What is this? Elixir of Might. Okay, we got one of those, so... So we can also make money by... Buying the stuff. Well, it depends on how much it sells for. We'll have to figure that out. Let's, let's do that right away. Can we sell to this guy? How much are our health potions selling for? Because if they're 25 for me to make them just by buying his Shop ingredients. Shop at so they sell for 152 so I can make bank by buying the ingredients, making the mix and the potions and then selling them hit to him. Okay. Try the Neverwoods again. See how fast I die here.
grabbed. Okay, we can't go by it either. Okay, so we can't go farther that way. Oh. I didn't aggro the snake. Will he come after me? can't check my health in here that's right see I wish there were numbers down there so I know how much how far down I am I don't want to waste my health potions you know this way. Come on. Oh crap, look at them all coming at me. Do they unaggro? Holy cow, look at the big one. Snake still damaged. Okay, I got one down. Oh, holy crap. Okay. They didn't come past the top of the ramp last couple times. Oh crap, I got too close. Ugh! <sighs> 
One of those down. Dodge, dodge. Can't get away from them. Dodge. Last health potion. Monsters down in here. Crap, did I just kill all everything but the big guy? <laughs> Crap, he hits hard. Crap. almost dead okay well we know we can do it but we'll have to do it next time yeah I know cold ring is down the lesser belt is oh okay well we're gonna call it here and we will continue this next time this has been Vepaja and you know do those three things that'll make us both happy you know what they are you click on that like you give me a subscribe, and then you ring that bell so you can see me next time. Later.